Neil from Essex here to show you a failure that occurred here in our shop. We've got a case here on this diesel engine where a $10 fuel filter plugged up and caused $1,700 in damage of downstream components. So we're going to walk around this machine here today, show you a little bit of the scenario that occurred in this model. Maybe we can encourage you a little bit to put some eyes on some different components of your equipment to prevent costly repairs like this in the future. Essex, a helping hand with your land. So this particular machine had a fuel problem. A fuel problem that started with this $10 fuel filter. If you look right here, you'll see the top side of the filter here, where the, the filter itself is located is really dark. Uh, we got a, probably a little bit of dirt or algae or something that was in that fuel that plugged this filter up. This filter was actually only about two years old. Sometimes these can last for a while, but the dirtier the fuel is coming into them, the shorter lifespan they can have. Now, when this starts to plug up, the kind of the, the common thing that you'll start to see in a piece of equipment is that it starts to lose power, right? Your engine starts to run rough. When the machine needs fuel and it needs to work hard, it may not be able to draw enough of it in and you, you have power loss issues. But you need to think about the rest of the components that are in this fuel system as well. If you kind of follow the fuel in this machine from the tank back to the engine, you'll go from the fuel tank through your filter, through a lift pump that actually mechanically lifts the fuel up to the fuel injection pump that then times it and injects it into the engine. So that's kind of the whole cycle of the whole thing. Now you might think when this thing plugs up that you're just starving the engine of those components of fuel but you're also starving them of lubrication. When you look at all these systems in your machine, whether it's your engine oil or your hydraulic system or your fuel, those fluids act as lubricants in those systems. So in the case of this machine, when this thing started to starve for fuel, it also took out the lift pump itself, a nearly $200 piece, and the fuel injection pump on the engine itself, a nearly $1,500 piece. So you ran into this scenario here where a $10 filter literally caused the damage of $1,700 of downstream fuel components. So every mechanically injected fuel system is gonna have some variation of these same components. They may all look a little bit different from one to the next. But normally if you trace those fuel lines from the tank back to the engine, you'll find these inline fuel filters on a lot of equipment. They're pretty ubiquitous, but always in different locations. Now in the case of this RTV, there's only one fuel filter. Many of our tractors have two, and these filters can sometimes be located down under the floorboards of the machine. They're not always the easiest to get to and check. And while this machine has a uh, fuel pump, that, that lift pump that's operated off of a cam on the side of the engine, many machines are also going to use an electric variation of this same thing. When you turn that key on, you'll hear that pump start to run. So all of these systems are going to have the same pieces, but a mechanically injected diesel fuel system is going to have most of these same components. The service interval for these little fuel filters is right about 100 hours. And this machine here had just been serviced about two years ago and had new filters put on it at that point. But since that time had gone through about 450 hours on the meter. It's a heavy use machine. And if you think of a machine like an RTV that uses about three quarters of a gallon to a gallon of diesel fuel an hour that it's running, this filter would have filtered somewhere in the neighborhood of 250, 300 gallons of diesel fuel in that time. And so you could think the amount of fuel that goes through here and the amount of opportunity for contaminants to build up in that filter, it's a lot more significant than it might seem like on a surface for a small diesel powered machine. So what are some things you can do to prevent an issue like this on your machine? I, so many problems that we have and so much equipment that we see in the shop is fuel related. Um, the quality and cleanliness of your fuel is of the utmost importance in maintaining the health of your equipment. This is our bulk diesel tank. And if you're filling from a bulk tank, you have fuel that's gonna be in storage for a while and you're not turning it real often, taking care of it is important. So putting in additives to disperse water or kill off algae and those kinds of things are important in a big tank like this. You're also gonna notice that we have a two-stage filtration system as the fuel comes up and out of this tank. This is a 10 micron filter followed by a two micron filter. That's really, really small in order to capture as much of that stuff as possible. 
You also want to remember that you can get moisture into your tanks, and this is true of any kind of reservoir and stuff on your tractor as well. Most reservoirs and most tanks have some kind of breather on them, so as temperatures change, pressure doesn't build up on the inside. In the case of this bulk tank, there's a moisture removal device that sits on top of the tank to help suck the moisture out of the air before it ends up down in the tank. This, though, may not be true of a bulk tank that you might be filling from or from your machine itself. If you're having trouble, you're going through freeze-fall cycles and you've got a fuel tank on there, you know, water and that kind of stuff can make it into that tank and so using additives to disperse that water can help make sure that fuel can flow cleanly through your system. So keep an eye on all those filters, make sure you're clean, change them regularly. We're glad to help you with any of the parts that you need to do that. But putting an eye on this portion of your tractor on a regular basis can really prevent a lot of problems. So if we can help you with any of your maintenance or service needs for your equipment or you're shopping for a new piece, give us a call here at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.